Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about laws of logarithms. Now let A be a positive number which is not equal to 1 that is A is greater than 0 and A is not equal to 1 and let x and y be any positive numbers that is x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0 and n be any real number that is n belong to the set of real numbers then the first law of logarithm is log xy to the base a is equal to log x to the base a plus log y to the base a. Now let us start with its proof. Now let log x to the base a is equal to m. Now let us give it equation number 1 and log y to the base a is equal to m. Let this be equation number 2. Now we know the definition of logarithm that is if three numbers are so related that a is to power x is equal to m then in the logarithmic form we can write log m to the base a is equal to x. And here a, x and n are all positive numbers. So from the first equation, by definition, we have x is equal to a raised to power m. And from the second equation, we have y is equal to a raised to power m. This implies x into y is equal to a raised to power m into a raised to power m which is equal to Now applying the product law of exponents this will be a raised to power m plus n. This implies xy is equal to a raised to power m plus n. Now again by definition of logarithm We have log xy to the base a is equal to m plus n. Now m is equal to log x to the base a. So this implies log xy to the base a is equal to log x to the base a plus m which is log y to the base a. So we have proved the first law of logarithm. Now let us discuss the extension of this law that is log x, y, z and so on all to the base a is equal to log x to the base a plus log y to the base a plus log z to the base a plus so on. So we have proved the first law of logarithm that is log of a product to any base is equal to sums of logs of the factors to the same base. Now let us discuss the second law of logarithm that is log x over y to the base a is equal to log x to the base a minus log y to the base a. Now let us start with its proof. For this also let us take m is equal to log x to the base a and m is equal to log y to the base a. So by definition we have x is equal to a raised to power n and y is equal to a raised to power n. 
So now we have x is equal to a raised to power n and y is equal to a raised to power n. Therefore, x over y is equal to a raised to power m over a raised to power n. Now, applying the quotient law in case of the exponents, this will be equal to a raised to power n minus n. So this implies x over y is equal to a raised to power m minus n. Now again, by the definition of logarithm, we have log x over y to the base a is equal to m minus n. Now these are the values of m and n. So this implies log x over y to the base a is equal to m, that is log x to the base a minus n, that is log y to the base a. So we have proved the second law of logarithm, which is log of a fraction to the base a is equal to log of the numerator of that fraction to the base a minus log of the denominator of the fraction, that is of this fraction, to the base a. Now let us discuss one corollary, and that is log x1 into x2 into x3 and so on all upon y1 into y2 into y3 and so on this whole to the base a is equal to log x1 to the base a plus log x2 to the base a plus log x3 to the base a plus so on the whole minus log y1 to the base a plus log y2 to the base a plus log y3 to the base a plus so on the whole where a x1 x2 and x3 y1, y2 and y3 and so on are all positive numbers. Now let us discuss the third law of logarithm and that is log x raised to power n to the base a is equal to n log x to the base a. Now let us start with its proof. Now let log x to the base a is equal to m. Let this be equation number a. So by definition of logarithm, we have x is equal to a raised to power m. Now raising both sides to the power n, this implies x raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m whole raised to power n, which further implies x raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m into n. Now again by the definition of logarithm, we can write this equation as log x raised to power n to the base a is equal to m into n. Now, we have m is equal to log x to the base a. Therefore, this implies log x raised to power n to the base a is equal to n into m, that is n into log x to the base a. So here we have proved the third law of logarithm. Now let us discuss one corollary and that is log x to the base a raised to power n 
is equal to 1 over n into log x to the base a. Now let us start with its proof. Now let log x to the base a raised to power n is equal to p. So by definition this implies a raised to power n whole raised to power p is equal to x. That is by using this definition of logarithm. Further this implies a raised to power n into p is equal to x which further implies now here again by using the definition of logarithm this will be log x to the base a is equal to n into p. which implies p is equal to 1 over n into log x to the base a. Now we have taken p is equal to log x to the base a raised to power n. So this implies log x to the base a raised to power n is equal to 1 by n into log x to the base a. So we have proved the corollary. So in this session we have learnt about the laws of logarithms. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.